reject the enemy's plans. It's not enough just to reject the enemy's plans. You have to feed that word that's in your heart. You got to give food to it so you can give life to it. Whatever you want to live, you have to feed it. What you don't want to live, you have to let it die. You have to starve it. So yeah, you got to give food to that word that's in your heart. Give life to it. Right here, you have to nurture the word. You know, nurture the word of the Lord. Yeah. Nurture the word of the Lord. Right here in scripture, Psalm 119, 11, it says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Yeah, Psalms 119.11, NLT, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. So yeah, you have to feed whatever you have in your heart, whatever you're believing for, you got to feed it and nurture it. You got to give life to it. Yeah, you can't let it starve. You got to just believe and know that the future that you know the Lord has told you is yours, that it is yours. So you have to press on. You can't give up. Even when you don't see nothing growing, you know, you just, you plant, he planted that seed inside you. So you have to keep watering it, you know, keep watering it, studying the word, studying the scripture, spend time with them so he can grow it. You can grow it. You know, that word, that dream, whatever you have inside you, it'll grow. It won't die. It won't starve. So um, just read this word, study it, show yourself approved. Um, right here, let me see what else. Yeah, you got to open the scriptures, okay? Open the scriptures and study that word. Jer like Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29, 11. God's promises to give a hope and a future. God's promise is to give a hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. Yeah. So God promises to give us a hope and a future, but we, we must play our part, you know, and study that word, study the scriptures, put it in our spirit so we can feed, feed whatever is birthed inside of our spirit from the Lord. We got to nurture it, feed it. We can't just let it sit there alone, you know, cause it'll die cause you're starving it. You're not giving it life. You're not giving it water. You're not doing anything. You're believing in something, but you're acting like you're not believing because you're not doing any anything to show that you're believing. You're not spending time in the Word, studying, believing in what God say, decreeing and declaring, you know? Decree that Word. Declare that Word out of your mouth. Speak it. Speak it into the atmosphere, you know? Let that Word that's in you know. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe in what God said. It's for me. It's for me. Yeah. So you got to just get in that word daily. Not every other day. You know, get in it daily. Even when you don't feel like getting in the word. I do. I get in that word every every day. Even when I don't feel like it. Even when I don't see nothing moving. And even when I don't see nothing changing. You know. Even when I see old stuff trying to come back into my life. You know, trying to manifest in my mind trying to come back. I have to cast stuff down and, you know, believe and know what God told me is for me is for me. And just stand stand firm in the faith and believing and knowing and moving on. Hey, I gotta nurture that word too. So I'm not just speaking this for um just for y'all. I'm speaking this for myself. You know. You know, I'm speaking it for myself. So just hold fast, hold tight, y'all. Believe. Don't stop. Don't give up. Keep praying. Pressing on. Feeding and watering what's inside of you. You know. Because it will come to pass. So I love you. I just want to give y'all another encouraging word. Just a quick encouraging word. Nothing long. Many blessings to you and your family. I'll see y'all again.